But how did chemicals like these come together to make the first living things? Nobody had a clue until a young college student did a brilliant experiment which would transform our understanding of the origin of life. Stanley Miller and his teacher Harold Urey had the bright idea of recreating the chemical mix and environment of the infant Earth in miniature. Using apparatus like this, reconstructed here at Sussex University, Miller was about to try some chemistry that hadn't been seen on Earth for nearly four billion years. This is the equipment that Stanley Miller devised to recreate the early Earth's atmosphere. Miller surmised that the early Earth's atmosphere was an unbreathable mix of the gases hydrogen, methane and ammonia. This small flask of boiling water represents the sea. As the sea evaporates, a mixture of gases is introduced. The gases dissolve in the steam, and the whole lot enters this chamber here. And it's in here that the really interesting chemistry happens. These sparks recreate the electrical storms thought to have been ravaging the Earth all those years ago. And it's this bolt of energy that makes the steam and gases in here react together in unpredictable ways. After getting this big kick of energy, the gas and steam enters the condenser. And here the steam is turned back into water, falls as rain, and is carried back into the sea. This cycle of boiling, sparking and condensing was repeated again and again, just as it would have on the ancient Earth. And then something strange started to appear in the bottom of the equipment. After a week of continual sparking, Miller found that he created an orangey-red sludge. But this was no ordinary sludge. Under the chemical conditions he thought occurred on the Earth billions of years ago, Miller had created some of the stuff of life. Crucially, he had succeeded in creating amino acids. Amino acids are crucial chemicals because they are the building blocks of proteins. And proteins are what the bodies of living things are made of. Without amino acids, there could be no proteins. And without proteins, there could be no life. While Miller had succeeded in creating some of the stuff of life, science had no idea how such chemicals were assembled to make living things. This remained a tantalizing mystery. One which would be solved when two of the most famous names in the history of science made an astonishing announcement. Their discovery revolutionized biology and would, at long last, put science on the path to the origin of life.